In this presentation, we'll learn about data visualization techniques. Now, what do you mean by data? Data is a collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurement, observation, or even just description of things. Data can be qualitative and quantitative. Qualitative data is descriptive in information, such that I had great fun. And when you present the data in form of numerical information, it is known as quantitative data. This quantitative data can be divided into two parts, that is discrete or continuous. Discrete is when you present your numerical figures in the form of whole numbers. And continuous, when you take any value within the range, for example 3.265, it is between 3 and 4. And when you talk about, say, number on the dice, which can be like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. So these are presented in the form of whole numbers. Therefore, it is discrete data. These are few questions to test you on the basis of your previous slide, whether you've got a knowledge about whether the data is qualitative or quantitative. And if quantitative, whether discrete or continuous, you can try these. One of them over here is height. Now, height could be 5 feet 6 inches or could take the form of a decimals. So, it is continuous in nature and since it can be presented numerically, it is quantitative. The most common given names in your town, these cannot be presented in the form of numbers and therefore it is qualitative in nature. Graphs. What do you mean by graphs? It is known as the picture is worth a thousand of words. That is, you present this entire collected data in the form of pictures. This pictorial representation is known as graphs. These are basically important for the analysis point of view. When you are given a data, you cannot give any conclusion based on this numerical figures. So, you present them in the form of a picture which makes it easy for you to understand. Therefore, graphs are the picture representatives for one or more set of information and how these visually relate to one another. For almost any numerical data set, there is a graph type that is appropriate for representing it. Graphs help you present the data in a meaningful way. It is one thing to see a data listed on a page and it's another to actually understand the details and trend of the data. Using graph, we can depict the data and well-made graphs convey information quickly. Now there are six types of graphs we'll be talking about in this presentation. That is bar graph, histogram, line graphs, pie charts, scatter plots and time series graphs. Bar graphs. Bar graphs are also known as bar charts. It is a graphical display of data using bars of different heights. Also known as Pareto diagrams, a bar graph can be horizontal or vertical. Each axis is labeled with either a categorical or a numerical variable. The bar heights are scaled according to their values and the bars are compared to each other. For example, you conducted a survey to find out which movie is liked the best. There are like comedy, action, horror, drama, romance. So when you plot these numerical figures in the form of diagrams where your x-axis depicts your comedy, action, romance, drama and your y-axis depicts your numbers. So plotting them, you can easily show that romantic films are viewed the most. Now bar diagrams are good when your data is in categories such as comedy, drama, etc. But when you have continuous data, you present them in the form of histogram. It is best to leave gaps in between the bar of the bar graph so it doesn't look like a histogram. Therefore, a histogram is a kind of a graph that uses bars, right? But on the x-axis, you plot the continuous figures. For example, in this graph, 100 to 150, 150 to 200, 200 to 250 and so on. When you do not put gaps in these bar, it is basically a histogram that we are talking about. 
Another form of a graph includes line graph. The graph shows information that is connected in some way that is for example change over time. For example, look at you want to collect the facts upon astrology and you want to check whether test these how good you are in this so in day one day two day three day four when you plot them with the line you can compare your growth comparing these set of data can be complicated but line graphs make it easy the plotted peaks and dips on the grid allow you to monitor and compare the improvement and decline therefore the line graphs shows whether you if it's moving upwards you show that if there is an improvement if there is a downfall you show that you are lacking in some information the pie charts now when you present your data in the circular form it is known as a pie chart that is formally a special chart that uses pie slices to show relative size of data is known as pie charts for example take the example the previous one the comedy action romance drama and horror there you present this data these figures in the form of pie now you can easily conclude by looking at this diagram that romantic films carry 30 percent of the weightage that it, it is viewed the most now the question comes how do you actually draw these pie charts given the data so first put your data into the table like the above one and then add up the values and total them for example 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 1 plus 4 equals 20 divide each value by the total and multiply by 100 to get the percentage term now you need to figure out the degrees of each ply slice there are full the full circle has 360 degrees so it is like for the comedy 4 by 20 into 360 for horror 4 by 20 into 360 for romance 6 by 20 into 360 so this figure in the last line 72 degrees 90 degrees 108 degree 18 degrees 72 degrees is basically the degrees of the pies now you can use the protractor to draw this pie chart the next one is time series graph. The data is displayed in the time series graphs at various time points. The vertical axis is for the data values and the horizontal axis shows the time. This type of graph can be used for showing the various trends through the various time period. For example, the number of road deaths from 1921 to 2013. It shows there was an increase in number, then there was a downfall from 1939 to 1945, then further increase. So this is basically showing the various number of road deaths, that is the deaths on the road at various time periods from 1921 to 2013. The last one is scatter plots. The scatter plots XY plot has points that shows the relationship between two sets of data displayed paired in values. It is in the form of a Cartesian XY coordinates with the vertical Y axis and horizontal X axis. For example, here we take the example of temperature and the ice cream sales. The local ice cream shop keeps track of how much ice cream they sell at various known temperatures of the day. So here we can when you plot these figures in the form of a scattered diagram with the x axis depicting temperature and the y axis depicting your ice cream sales. You find these plots which clearly shows that warmer the weather leads to more sales. Scatter plots you will study further helps you to find the regression analysis, the correlation that could be positive correlation, negative correlation and so on. It basically helps you explain how the x and y variables move in a, in a particular fashion. You will get to know this in the previous slide. I hope my this presentation has helped you get a clear understanding on the graphs that is the pictorial representations. Thank you.